No. Okay. Hello, everybody. How are you today? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Y'all got cake. Okay. Okay. Well, I want to talk about Bethesda, Maryland, because home is where the heart is. And home is also where you felt happiest when you were younger. My hometown is Bethesda, Maryland, uh, where I had some of my happiest memories in my life. Uh, built the foundation in me and shaped me in terms of building my confidence, my independence, my creativity, and my desire to explore the world uh, outside of the back door. Um, basically, Bethesda, Maryland is located about 20 minutes drive from D.C., north, northwest of D.C. Um, started out as a small crossroads, a dirt road. Uh, the Indians used to travel there, uh, Baltimore Way, shooting game, going fishing in the Potomac and the Patuxent and the Monocacy Mon River down there. Um, it then became more of a travel when trade started uh, in the mid 1800s uh, as a way to get to the port of Georgetown. Yeah. You can eat the cake in the sun. <laughs> you like my little tail? Bethesda. Anyway, so Bethesda grew up um, as nothing more than this dirt road. It was actually said that it started out as just a wide spot in the road. Um, little dwellings started. Farmers started coming up there, planting tobacco. Um, and uh, a store grew up there, actually, before it was even named Bethesda. It was just like this hardware convenience type store called Darcy's Store. So that was just the name of the area. Everyone called it Darcy's Store. Uh, eventually, a postmaster decided to name it after the Bethesda Meeting House, which was the oldest and is still the oldest standing church in Bethesda. Um, it's in the Pooks Hill area. The, the structure that's there now is actually 100 yards away from where it used to stand because it burned down and then they rebuilt it. And Bethesda in Hebrew actually means a uh, house of happiness. So it's a happy place in Bethesda. <laughs> Uh, at least it was. I mean, growing up there, I had the greatest time. I was six years old when I was going around the neighborhoods, exploring old places where uh, battles had taken place in Bethesda. Um, the only thing I didn't know at the time was that every parent, every neighbor knew everybody, knew everybody. So I was constantly watched. Okay, but to me, it was about becoming independent and exploring and going wherever I wanted to all by myself. So, as I say, that part shaped me in my independence, my little bit of street smarts. I, I could go anywhere. Didn't matter. Nobody was looking for me. Nobody was chasing me down. And um, so, once I started exploring and I learned more about the areas, we actually have a good historical bit in Bethesda too. There is a cabin that was Harriet Beecher Stowe's inspiration for Uncle Tom's cabin. Um, so that cabin is still standing attached to a building which built a love of history in me. Um, Bethesda nowadays is actually a very busy hub for millennials. It is um, the median income in Bethesda alone is actually 180 grade per family. And the rents there are insane. You're paying 3,000 per four bedroom house. Okay, that's, that's just for renting. You know, the houses are going for a million. It's not an area today that you could live in, but the main point of the whole thing is that it shaped me when I was younger and it was more family oriented. Now you've got these millennials that are just, there's the greatest restaurants, there's the greatest, you know, nightlife down in DC. Um, as you can, you know, know with the catering down there that they do, Jamie. Uh, but um, 
it's just a hub and it just expands to be what you want it to be. So from a small crossroads. Oh, and also according to Money Magazine, in the September 17th, 2018 issue, it was listed as the number 20th best place in America to live. Although I don't agree with that. I don't agree with it because of the fact that it's not got the homey hometown feel it once had because of the business and the millennials, but it is now, you know, something that it wasn't then. But it shaped me and it brought me up to be who I am today. And it's still where my heart is, you know, where you go home to in your mind, but I wouldn't want to live there again. So that's all I've got. Thank you. That was good. No, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Other than the kids being noisy.